And until he blinks, step fucking jam it to Prince. I'm in. Should I put it in the title? Should be this draft. I'll put it in. Let me know very soon if you've changed your mind. <laughs> like some somewhere in between this soul ring and the next pack. <laughs> you want to wait till the next draft? Totally fine. You haven't drafted a soul ring yet. I mean. They didn't help me out very much yesterday. Three soul ring decks, no trophies. Hey, Saber, thanks for the $10 donation. Hmm. I'll take the Chain Lightning and Wheel Oyer, maybe. You could take Ulamog and try and do sneak attack stuff. Mind twist. Maybe we'll mind twist. Stoneforge Mystic Steese. I don't need Ignoble either. What if we're doing like Jund stuff? You were way too low on Stoneforge for a while. Yeah. It can be really easy to be low on tutors. But that's a value one, and it cheats it into play. How was my day? Just starting, friend. Just starting. I woke up around noon. Made lunch. Watched an episode of Strange New Worlds with the girlfriend. And then um, I worked on fucking some adult shit until just now. Hey, up, right time. Currently in the middle of applying for a loan that I'm already paying. <laughs> That's a fun little adulting project. I know I did this four years ago, and nothing has changed. I gotta address something here, huh? Maybe triplets. Triplets are sexy. I'm gonna take this Death Creatures Champion. This card's like been really strong for me, and we could turn two it off Soul Ring or something. Could be good. Refinancing my house, uh, sort of. Not a refinancing, but you can like assume the loan, but you still have to like pay filing fees and stuff. Loan assumption. It might be literally be called loan assumption. Can you write off donations to me on on your tax returns? You can do whatever you want. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not your dad. Will you get arrested or something or audited? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a tax person. Why are you asking me these questions? All right, Saber Raider has a $10 sum request from their previous. Oh, I gotta grab a card. Uh, Metalcore Band. Whoop, whoop. It hasn't felt like green's been open, but black seemed like maybe open, and white's always open. Maybe I should have grabbed that Stoneforge Mystic earlier. Actually, maybe Lumberjack is telling me. Red green is fine. Yabamai is cute with Lumberjack. I kind of dig City Traders. Let's do this. This is a deck that needs a fucking Minskin Boo, and then it'll all make sense. Did you uh, play on this track, Saber Reading? Can I be your dad? Of course I can. Of course I can, Matt Man. I'm all, uh, I'll only say that I'm proud of you, though, uh, if you're a Tier 2 sub. I'm going to take Vengevine out of this pack. I want the Copper Line Gorge, but I'm going to take the Vengevine. Get the beats going. Hey, thanks for the $20 donation to Prince. What do you give to your Prime sub? A hearty thank you. You were the songwriter, and you're doing the guitars and clean vocals on this? Fucking awesome. If I could draft only Minsk or Boo. That would be a decision. Yeah, thanks to Prince. 
a Minsk and Boo meld? Yeah, why not? Man, last uh, cube iteration, I was happy, like, fucking slamming workshops and just drafting it constantly. And it's felt, like, borderline unplayable in this build. This build of the cube. Hello, Fury. Some other six cards here. I think I'd be torn between the foothills and the mana ball. I think I would take the wood foothills if the Fury wasn't here. I want to pitch cast Fury to trigger Benchvine. That could be dope. Yeah, very cool. Did I see the new Full Art Vengevine? I did not. Fury version 2 in Modern Horizons 3. After they just like banned the, the other one in Modern. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Make it a 2-2 two -two, but give it flash. I don't know. I actually want that Fauna Shaman, but I want the Fetch too. I want to have some good mana here. Shall I get up? Vengevine... Full art. I don't think I found it. I don't. I don't think a cursory Google search did anything for me. Why mind twist? Mind twist is sweet. They don't have a hand. How do they win if they don't have a hand? I would not call mind twist power ten, but it is very good. And then this packs between gut, wheel of fortune, and pyrokinesis. I think we're just gonna take the gut. We need the pyrokinesis a little bit less with the uh, the fury here. Wouldn't mind having both, of course. Ooh, Pest Infestation. Almost missed that one. Can you post the link? Please do. Not Ritual. What Ritual did I pass? Hmm. Noble Hierarch or Ancient Tomb? It does look like a Pineapple Man. Holy shit. <laughs> It's got to be, like, the least intimidating critter I've ever seen. All right, how are we doing on playables? The Exalted on Noble Hierarch's really nice. Ancient Tomb's really good just to have in your mana base. Kind of comes down to whether you need playables or not. Kind of felt like I need another early game creature. Karn? Karn's good. I don't know if it's worth, like, playing turn two off Lumberjack, though. Maybe I'll take this Bandrills. I'll draft this court. I might not play it, but I'll draft it. It might end up as a sideboard card. Confident? I'm not. I'm not looking to like go too hard on the black splash. Like it might just be a mind twist. For everyone suggesting black cards. A court angle. An angle. Do these mana dorks. I think people overplay court too. Prime Titan. I think I like triplets better than Prime Time. I don't think I want multiple sixes. We'll see. I'm wondering how much madness stuff I could get. Oh, I might just trap Peatland here. Just making the, the mind twist splash more free. Love the Fauna Shaman wheel. Again, the black's probably just going to be a splash for Mind Twist, folks. I'm not really interested in, in double black cards and such. I'm going to grab Relic for the sideboard. Crater Hoof just kind of costs a lot for what I'm trying to do here. Hell yeah, Manny Dubs. That sounds awesome. I wonder if the Sagak is playable. Might regret passing that. Scavenging ooze. More graveyard hate, you know. Hello, Ragavan, huh? Deck needs a Taiga something fierce. Ragavan versus Minsk and Boo versus Strip Mine. Pack one, pick one. So the Minsk will win more games. Out of those cards that you mentioned, the Minsk is going to win the most games. But Bregavan might let you stay mono-red, which I do like a little bit better than green-red, despite being in green-red right now. I oh, got this Carnage thing. Minsk could end up being like a three or four color deck too, though. Yeah, it kind of depends on what direction you go. 
I think either of those are defensible. Hmm. Not stoked about this pack. Maybe Recurring Nightmare is insane here. With the Fauna Shaman and stuff. A Bayou. There's another Bayou. Oh, Fire Confluence. Perfect. Yay, good cards. So there's something that I really like about hardcore hardcore style percussion where you got like that deep those deep hard bass hits and then that like almost like staccato snare sometimes it's like almost ringy or an echoey snare anyway I dig it man no taiga this deck needs the taiga so bad are we a clamp deck I feel like we are. Hey, Sylvan Librarian, thanks for the 72 months. How's it hanging? Well. Do I want Rewalla just for Fauna Shaman? Seems a bit much. I guess I've got like Epicure that can turn it into a card. Maybe Haywire Might's better as like a tutorable disenchant. Yeah, very low removal, leaning on that Fury, which we can tutor for, and Chain Lightning. And our mana's not great. I'm pretty glad we got that Ignoble Hierarch earlier. The Black Splash is pretty free. And Blood Steinmeier can fetch a basic mountain or a Bayou. Or a Xander's Lounge, I suppose. So we're not going to have to play a basic Swamp in here, but... Still, not having a Taiga is pretty rough. These double reds and double greens. Hey, Dread Mang, thinks the sub thinks the three months. Is Raptor good? Yeah, Raptor rules. Wildly, you've been subbing for six whole years. To six whole years! Maybe the Bitter Union gets better with the Recurring Nightmare here. Oh, shoot, what up? Hey, Bane's with Legends, six of seven, three months. Six whole years! <laughs> Uh, this track is not by the Melvins, by the way. <laughs> I know that's what the, the displayer says. This is uh, Acid Bath. Will Mandrills do anything without Mill? Probably not. I like the idea of cutting the Mandrills and leaving Hagak in. I don't hate the idea of, like... Um, recurring nightmaring on Hagak. And then Truplets and Fury both seem recurrable. 4-4 four, four, Trample, not a bad thing to give. Double Strike 2, though, or whatever. Do I want another comes to play tapped Black Source? I feel like I do not. Would I have needed Survival for Squee? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to just, like, throw a Squee into an aggro deck. And I know we've got Fauna Shaman here, but Fauna Shaman's definitely not enough. Fauna Shaman dies a lot. You know, you can't really depend on it. Hmm. What else we got here? Oh, it makes him in the Hormone Trank. I think I don't like the Karn. I actually wonder if like Orcish Lumberjack makes the Mandrills super easy to cast. Because if you sacrifice a land towards it, and it's like you float and then sack, you're getting five mana towards the Mandrills. Wait, can you just turn to a Hooting Mandrills with that? Yeah, it's two plus four. I think I dig it. I think I dig the Mandrills. I don't know, I gotta get some stuff though. Maybe it's just the nightmare. Cut the nightmare, cut the Hagak, leave the Mandrills in. Fauna Shaman can get you to Hagak by itself eventually. Maybe I don't need this Reckless Charge. 
A lot of our stuff has haste already. Hagak's fucking huge, though. Maybe I do want it. Maybe I'll sideboard Recurring Nightmare for more grindy matchups. Although in nine grindy matchups, bringing back Fury could be insane. Why is magic so hard? All right. So this is currently eight green and seven red. This is eight of both. Hell yeah, Ghost Dad. Fucking love Maximum. One of my all-time favorites. Hmm. Fucking A. What do y'all think? Nine green or nine red? I guess more forests for Lumberjanks, not bad. But we have that Yavimaya there. I'll play one more. This deck would have loved a Taiga. Crazy that we didn't get, didn't get one. Not even like a Tri-Land. Because my opponent couldn't go to Dallas. But yeah, I've actually been dipping my toe back into Standard. When Cube's not around. So I'm not super cold by the time Dallas comes around. That's the second time we've done that, Jesse McDonald. That's the second time Sam's offered me a super early draw, and we've taken it, and then both top eight it. <laughs> so, I'll probably keep doing it so long as it keeps working. I wrote a bag all things of 47 months there. Cube. Oh, that's an idea, Debu. Yeah, I'll get on that. For the finals, uh, they scooped, I am. We did like a split type deal. Oh, they maybe they shouldn't have played the land, huh? Or maybe they needed to, right? It was the vantage. You'd rather eat a ham sandwich covered with mace than try to beat Sam Black at Magic? That's fucking wild. I would not. I would not rather do that. <laughs> so we could gut and serve and start getting in with four ones. And then pitch cast the Fury. I kind of want to just chain lightning and then like tutor up a bench vine. Let's pinch, pitch the Carnage Interpreter. Hey, sup, Cube Ball Mania? Thanks for the 28 months. I'm taking the more aggressive line because they have that Mana Crypt down. Hazek Mania thinks the 11 months. Ah, uh, god damn it. Really wish I'd spent my time tuning up Benchvine now. Mana Crypt's hit him for six. Maybe will just draw Benjvine, huh? That track was from the Troll Hunter movie. Fucking wild. Have I been peeping the new set? A little bit. Keeping the double? Well, I didn't have double red at the time. I had to pitch something. I'm like, pretty glad I did not keep the double. Because <laughs> then I would have just died to this fury smacking me while I had a... <laughs> a, a, a double red card trapped in my hand. No, I know, not yet. So you need to have a card in hand to loot with the Bitter Union. It 
surety hunter, whatever. Always and never, whatever you whatever you want to think. Put them getting their loot on. Bidding pyrokinesis. Mana Crypt's still doing work. Still doing work. Skydiver, Dank. Seems like a matchup that's hostile to Soul Ring, huh? Hmm. Not looking groovy. Not groovy at all. Come on, Mana Crypt, no! <laughs> I don't think, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna get there. It seems really unlikely, but we could technically squeeze some damage in and get a Mana Crypt flip. So I'll take my draw and see what next card is anyway. So close. Well, that game super didn't fucking work out. They have some counter magic, which makes me like the, the mind twist, but they're also so aggressive, which makes me like it less. Usually I don't like this against decks that have hasters and stuff. <clears throat> Could just play Reckless Charge. Hmm. I really want to play this card on the play, but I probably shouldn't. I don't know, they just have the one mana crypt, right? I gotta remember to cut it on the draw. Probably shouldn't even be in here, but on the play, but let's try it. It's a little weird. I'm thinking about bidding Vengevine for um, Ignoble Hierarch, playing it, and then Reckless Charging it and hitting it for four. Get closer to Mandrills being a cheap card. Good to be back, Wild Antic. I could also just pass and see what they do. Why well, I just hit them with Ragavan here? That also helps Vengevine, right? Putting a one drop to hand. 
putting a treasure in play. I might actually bin Mandrills and go find Ignoble and then just go Ignoble Ragavan. Divine Bank. Not a board that plays very well versus Fury, but then you can just follow up with Carnage Interpreter. Hmm. Mental Note bin Kappa Cannoneer and Mana Crypt. Interesting. Okay, so now we just need like a dork or something with this Carnage Interpreter. Or any creature, then we trigger up uh, Root Walla and cast Carnage Interpreter, and, and that'll be two creatures for the vine. Assuming it enters the battlefield. What are you talking about, Exuberant? No, this is a sorcery friend. Well, the game worked out better than the previous one. <laughs> Getting this court the fuck out of here, though. I'll play Invigorate. They've got some pump or some burn based removal, right? Like their own Fury. Could be sick. I don't know what to fucking put back here. <laughs> Maybe it's just Lumberjack because we only have two lands. Maybe that's Coward Speak. Like, you go turn one Lumberjack, and then turn two, you've got fucking five mana. That's enough to go one, one, three. <laughs> what else do you want? Oh, yeah, Ignoble's definitely my uh, favorite card that I've spoiled. Kind of feels like they're holding up a counter here for me, huh? I mean, they just don't have a land, so maybe maybe it's not, but I'm going to play around it anyway. Hell yeah, Zip. Um... I wonder if Kraken and Clue Token's better than Bolting Face thing. I feel like Bolting Face is pretty good. Just off at hum. Uh, sure. That's a load bearing hierarchy. Oh, I also confused my hierarchs. I don't, I don't think I would have kept this hand. <laughs> That's all right, we'll just draw a red source, right? A red source or three. Yeah, the Fury being castable. And then I also thought I was gonna get to dash Ragaman off of hiring. Oh yeah, see, but there we go. There we go. All according to plan. I wonder what they left me on top with Pondame. A 
get lost. <laughs> I could convert my Ragman into maps if I wanted. Now we have to decide whether to play the Ragvan or not, right? We could save this treasure to be our second red source there. I think I'm gonna cast it. The lyrics are silly. Do you, <laughs> do you understand? Uh, they're German, right? <laughs> we butter the the bread with butter is the band name, so I uh, <laughs> I am not surprised that the their lyrics are silly. Hey, Catbeard, sings the five bucks. I would love a song quest. I'll jam it right after this. I actually found Electric Cowboy because they were touring with We, we Butter the Bread with Butter. Pretty cool pairing. Why don't you have Flash, Fury? Piece of shit. Very cool, Chromatic Blast. I'm gonna create the clue now. You get punished if they like want to put a discard spell on you, but you also get punished if you wait and they like orc you or something. Why not hard gas the fury? Because I'd rather play the carnage interpreter. Playing fury might have been better. I might have been wrong. I've been wrong before. <laughs> Caleb's never wrong. <laughs> My biggest weakness is sometimes admitting that I have weaknesses. So they can get back a ponder or a snuff out. Something's tell gonna telling me that they don't really <laughs> need that snuff out. Here's some one ones, why not? Good shit. All right, here's Catbeard's song request. Requesting Gojira. Yeah, I really liked this uh, Fortitude album. Probably my second favorite of theirs after uh, The Way of All Flesh. I have Nodders as Joint Roller. Fuck. Oh, they did return stuff out to hand. Stuff out down to three life. I think I deserve Retroactive Exalted, that's what I think. Fetching down to one. I kinda wanna draw my card. They could exile the last counter with Parallax Wave, let the Carnage Interpreter come into play, and then I would lose that card, but then I'm getting another four clues, so it's 
probably fine. You're excited for Carnage Interpreter with welders? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, Gorilla Dean. We see a couple critters, huh? Trigger that binge vine. There's one. Come on. Yeah, this guy plays really well with Vengevine, huh? Sick. If they ever rule the spell for the Vengevine there, they get to eat the pest, but you know, it's just a fucking pest, right? Might as well rep lethal. I think Quartz coming in again. I'm gonna leave Mind Twist in this time. Actually, what if... What if I brought him Recurring Nightmare? And Pest Infestation was DC, even though they didn't have a target, but if they don't have a target, you might as well cut it, hum. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Sensual Zealot, thanks for 37 months. Oh shit, what up? Cheers, Zealot. Hope everyone's having a good Thursday. I'm trying to decide if I should take Friday off like I did last week, Sunday off, or no days off. Because I'm going to be missing a few next weekend. I'll figure it out. If it was gonna be if it was gonna be Friday though, if it was gonna be tomorrow, it'd be nice to know now so I could put it in my stream title, I guess. It's like the one consideration. Yeah, next week's gonna be a bit softer. There's gonna be like a couple of uh five, six hour streams. And then at least three days off for the um for the Midwest gaming convention. Yeah, I know Fizzy Elf. I know what's up to me. Just musing aloud, you know? Well, that card might have just made this hand a whole lot better. What if they had that counter 2-3 thing? I guess we can chain lightning it next turn. The thing is you want a soul ring into the sentinel, right? Unless they like very specifically have the flash 2-3 where they get to steal it. Let's fucking, let's do it this way. Go to church and drink all their wine? That sounds like me. Force negation. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Just like we drew it up. It's a lot of one ones immediately after I pin my <laughs> confluence here. Stip vibes. I got a stip right after uh, right after this draft line up already. I'll probably do two today though. Probably be stoked about it. That just fucking resolved, huh?
Has anyone noticed that I have a lot of cards stored in play? Magic's so different. We have these like un giant undercosted beaters that are just like, I draw four cards. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's what you do? All right. <laughs> and what's the downside to this three mana five five menace? I'm also a discard outlet. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I don't attack to fairy here. Oh, I'm not screwing this up. Okay, cool. I was worried about running, like hitting multiple lands there or something. I mean, the carnage is supposed to serve its fairy. Hell yeah, Endo. I'm down with that. The next one lined up is a Blink Atali Stip. And then we can try and do some Insidious Roots action right afterwards. That sounds like a lot of fun. I didn't want to do this before I attacked in case I had a land. I feel like that recurring nightmare is gas. I want that fire confluence back, huh? <laughs> there are a price. Oh, any other? Oh, I don't know. Love that track. Hate that. Dislike that. Hey, you know Jackson thinks the 20 box. Rude. Multiple exile effects here. All right, maybe a change of pace. They're no longer looking that close to dead, right? With the solitude and play, they can block here. And our board greatly diminished from Skyclave plus solitude. So I think knocking down the Teferi makes sense. Do I throw this clamp on something? Do I just pass and crack a clue? Let's just pass and crack a clue. Oh, there's a Fury in this deck, right? That'd be fucking sick here. The gut token does not disappear, correct? <laughs> That's like everyone's realization. Oh, that card's fucked up. Yeah. Hmm. With oh, the Parallax Wave showing up, I might need um Fury specifically.
I'm sure it. Hell yeah, Black. <clears throat> Children of Bodom actually got me into metal. Not a um, crazy unusual thing. Oh, they exile their own solitude with the life peel wave counter. So they get to exile something. Oh, I actually, actually, uh. Oh, no, the Carnage, Carnage got exiled by the Skyclave. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not losing my recurring nightmare. But the gut is successfully answered. I actually don't know who's ahead right now. I have no idea. Seems pretty even. It does look kind of even, doesn't it? It's hard to know a whole lot without like knowing the rest of their deck. Like they could be a bunch of air, a bunch of cantrips and stuff. Or it could be a bunch of like nutty gas spells. We know that the main thing we're drawing to is Fury. Which I think would fucking just rip this fucking game open for me. Fucking. All oh, this ex exile removal. Oh, they voted for Clamp. Okay. I thought they were going to have Vengevine there for a second. I've seen better mind twists. Waiting for Animal Farm. They're countering it? <laughs> Isn't it better to like bounce a land or something? Tap all my things? They, only, they have zero cards in their hand, so like countering the mind twist does nothing. I think they're just like used to, to the, the counter tap. Well, that could have gone a lot worse, huh? I think they were hoping that the Cryptic Command would line up against Recurring Nightmare. What's my best mind twist story? I don't I don't I don't know if I have any like actual absurd mind twist stories. How are we tonight? Pretty well, Moose Plural, and pretty well. Are we sweating yet? Nah. Rub a game. This is game two. This is just the Fury waiting room. Just looted away a path, but they get to play the path now. Oh, that Raptor could be sick too. How do I have two cards in hand when I just mind twisted them for one? Oh, the Teferi uptake, right? Raptor or Gruff, hum? What if I should guild the Solitude instead of the Skyclave? So they bounced Flicker Wisp. What happens if I just Raptor serve at them and then I pump it? It's like eight damage and it clears to Fairy and they're at one life. And then they Flicker Wisp blink this and exile Raptor or Fury. Like they're just dead, right? I could loot away the Raptor and then sack Fury to get it back. 
and then the fury isn't solitudable. Do I seven them to two? Or do I run out this Ravager thing? A little bit worried about Ravager decking me, huh? With only 12 cards left. Maybe that's coward speak. Hell yeah, Vandre. Good to be streaming. Is Ravager non boyish with recurring? I don't think so. Currently, it's non boyish with only like <laughs> 12 cards in my library or whatever. I might play it anyway in the next turn or two. Yeah, right, Valve? This whole game, I've just been sitting here like, once we get that Fury, once we get that Fury, I think we're gonna, we're gonna clean up here. Feel really good about the decision to board in Recurring Nightmare too. Snap cryptic doesn't work. Ground that the fuck out, huh? The sand needs a forest, but I think you keep it. The question is if we rip a forest on turn two, do we turn two the hooting mandrels? Or do we wait to play gruff triplets on three? Probably the triplets on three, right? Hmm. One of my very favorite tracks. Opponents up to some bullshit over there. Is this the turn one kill? Are they just preaching after this? Oh, it's not a breach deck. Interesting. I wonder what they were looking for with that self mill. I wonder if they found it. I was also not expecting a bunch of green black cards. Yeah. Hagak. Well, you still need uh, still need creatures in play for Hagak to work. You want to see what their plan is? Well. You might, you might have time for that. We whiffed on our forest. I guess we can just, like, gut, start clocking next turn. No forest required. This mana crypt might be on my side. What you got, opponent? I, st I remember the first time I heard Meshuga. I was, like, 15 years old on a road trip. Going to see Children of Bodom and Amon Amarth for the first time. The person that was driving was like, this is what I listen to on long road trips. <laughs> this shall keep me awake. Ah, uh, then they can get back a gawk. Cute. I might win this fucking race. <laughs> You're fine, Lador. Yeah, does Gut just race to turn two Hagak plus Skirmay Gangler? <laughs> is, is Gut just better? <laughs> yeah, check out real negative for a sec last night. I don't know if I should have, like, thrown into emote-only mode or something. I feel like there's always something more that a streamer can do. Oh, my hand! My beautiful hand! Good thing we got everything we need in play, huh? 
Yeah, aren't they dead on board? They can double block one menace token and then take seven. We have the power, yeah. They actually have more power than me currently. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Spawn, thanks for the 76 months. GG! God, they did so much cool shit. We attacked with a gut twice. Ooh, a little graveyard hate here. I almost drafted that ooze. That went sweet. Is Living Death a funny answer to their deck? <laughs> they get all their shit in play? No, probably not, huh? There's a bunch of residue stuff. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Band Wedge, thanks for the sob, thanks for 20 months. I think I'm gonna cut Pest Infestation. I should probably cut Mind Twist, huh? Fanwage says, knock, knock, who's there? Five dollars? Hell yeah. Nightmare? I don't think so. I don't think our game's gonna go long enough for Nightmare to be a thing, and it might run into the way of our own Relic, and... I'm considering Reckless Charge. Or maybe, like, Preacher, if I wanna keep a Black Splash. I kinda like cutting the Black Splash. Comes to play Tapped Din lands in an Aggro Mirror. Not ideal. Could still play the pest. I mean, you block Gurmag Angler all day, right? Bad against Tagak, though. Maybe Figure Eight's okay. I'm just gonna play this charge. It's fine. The new cube? I've been enjoying it. Ragavan is kind of uniquely terrible against Tagak. Because they have a shitload of um, creatures to put in the way. I think this is still a keep, but it's like... It's sketch. Forest, hello. We don't have the acceleration for this gruff triplet, so I think the Epicure is going to loot it away. Yeah, no one or two or removal spell would have been something. I'll do it on their turn. If they had orcs, they already would have played it right to eat the ragavan there. Hmm, this seems bad for me. Have we already been orc wheeled? No. That was all yesterday. Man, my cards are not lining up well this game. Could crack a map and get the Hoot Hoots down next turn. So we trade with the... We eat the Blood Gas on the attack. They play their land, they get it back. They just get more Insidious Roots triggers. So we're just going to treat this as a 2-1 unblockable as long as we can. I might want to use the map token on the Hooting Mandrels. Cause it's got trample. I wonder if I can play something a little doomier. Hmm. Oh, just a smidge doomier. Yeah, recurring nightmare is not in the deck right now. There's a four mana four four haste that'd be pretty good. I wouldn't mind drawing fury. Relic of Progenitus might be good. Bongzilla. <laughs> Wisconsin natives Bongzilla. I'm not huge on them. I did. I have seen them play. Like they put on a solid show. And I did buy their album Weed Wisconsin because I, I felt obligated. Got to support. Mana Crypt again. Oh, they exiled the Bloodgast. Interesting. I wonder if this, wonder if this Mana Crypt is just going to be my MVP again. 
I'm gonna uptick Liliana. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Gonna kill the larger plant token. So the Hooting Mandrels gets to eat my Sentinel, but then what, right? My favorite vi version of Finnegan's Wake? I don't think I have one. Now their plant token can chump the walla and the mandrels can trade with my mandrels. But if I put the 1-1 one, one counter on the mandrels, then they double block it. Maybe that's still better for me. The Liliana is a little troubling. Now that it's at six. Can they kill their mana crypt with Liliana and use their Lily ult to target themselves? They could, if they were not dying here. GG! All right, we have two Qs in the uh, two steps in the queue. <laughs> two Qs in the step. Um, back to back.